Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're doing a TikTok reaction to something that I have never actually done before and that is a stretching video. Honestly I'm shocked I've never made one before. There may have been a stretch that popped up in one of my reaction videos. I honestly cannot remember. I know so many people have asked for me to do stretching videos in the past but because I haven't today is a very special day because we are doing a completely stretching compilation of TikTok video reactions. A video in this video is kind of terrifying, kind of interesting, but also kind of a freak accident. So I don't know how else to explain it, but I think you should continue to find out what happens in said video. Guys, uh, I think I messed up. I was on the phone and I started fidgeting with my ear and I think I tied it at a knot. <coughs> like, what the... What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? What did you do? Honestly, I'm not too stressed about this one because if you look at this person's lobes, they look strong and healthy and they look quite thick. There's still a lot there to work with. So it's not like if they try and untie this, it's just going to snap. That isn't the case with this earlobe. This earlobe looks like it has been looked after quite well. And what I mean by that is that this person has taken their time in stretching up. They've looked after their ears and in turn, they have a lot more to work with. So when something like this happens, they aren't like freaking out like it's going to snap. Some people who don't stretch properly, it can become very thin in certain areas and this can be very dangerous because it can snap, it can break, it can tear. So you don't want that happening, but this can be avoided with stretching up and looking after your ears very carefully and just make sure you're doing everything safely and carefully and in a sanitary manner because then you will have fresh healthy ears like this and you could tie them up like this and it literally doesn't matter. There's a response video to this one as well. Okay, so like after like an hour of messing with this, I think I figured it out. I haven't done it yet. Uh, I wanted to wait because I figured someone would ask. Um, so I think <laughs> if I roll this up, because it feels pretty loose right here. So let's see, hold on. Let's, let's hope. Come on. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Oof. Oh my God. I was worried. I was like, I'm gonna have to fucking break this jewelry <laughs> or something, get some pliers and fucking snap it in half. Again, I honestly think the only way that this person's been able to do this is because they've looked after their ears and you can just see it wasn't looking like super thin on areas and it didn't look like it was about to like break. To be honest, for you to sort of tie it up while you're playing with it, your ears have got to have a little bit of give to them. If this is the case, it sort of looks like this person could size up if they want to, because there's clearly a bit of space for them to move that tunnel around while they're wearing them. So that basically means you've got the space to stretch up. If you weren't able to sort of like move it around and like it was really taut, like really stuck in there, that's when you're just like, that is the size you can be at. You can't push it any further than that. Ooh. I broke them. Well, I broke this one. This one's very thin, but it's still intact. But I basically, my cat went missing in the winter, and usually you're meant to take your plugs out in winter because there's no, you don't get a lot of blood flow to the bottom because they were like two inches thick. Uh, but I was too sad to remember to do that. So I was just going out in the cold looking for him with like stone plugs in or like I think I had metal plugs in which get really cold mm. and the bottom of my ear just got no blood to it and mm -hmm. it honestly just fell out. I didn't even feel it at all. So that's kind of gross. <laughs> they were so nice. These were the ones I had on. They do like, really suit this like When it all happened. So if you don't want to see that, scroll. Last chance. Oh. So for right now, I'd look to get an eyelash glue so I can afford to get it fixed. Very innovative to be using the eyelash glue. I kind of gathered that when I just saw the pull and it just like broke apart without anything happening. I've seen this before where people will eyelash glue the parts of their lobes that have broken together 
wild, honestly. But it is a smart thing because it is expensive to get them completely reconstructed, so I understand. But yes, this person is completely right in what they're saying about, like, if you live in a very cold climate, somewhere like Australia, it doesn't get cold enough here for something like that to happen. But I'm guessing, like, places that it's snowing, etc., outside, you definitely don't want to be wearing metal metal plugs, metal tunnels, because I guess it is just essentially probably giving you frostbite. And stone isn't going to be much better because it also will get very cold as well. However, you also would have to have your lobes being quite thin for this to happen to the point where you've like stretched too quickly and it has gotten that thin or you have overstretched and you shouldn't be at that size and that is why they're so thin so like this is like a combination of both things the fact that this person did admit that their lobes were thin at the bottom so a combination of them thinning and also the cold weather with the metal not a great combo and this sort of thing could definitely happen but it kind of definitely looks like the piece of tissue has just like died away because i reckon that was frostbite computes to me anyway not that i have seen that because it honestly just doesn't get cold enough here but like please let me know any pierces out there if this is something you've seen or you've heard of where someone has gotten frostbite on the bottom of their lobes such a thin area there's no blood flow it's not keeping it warm the area has basically essentially died. It makes complete sense. Like I'm not trying to put this out there as like it's a common thing that happens with stretched earlobes, but I mean like, like this person has said, they kind of knew exactly where things went wrong and why it caused part of the ear to not get the blood flow and then for it to die and fall away. When you get super thin lobes, from stretching too quickly, from overstretching, it does happen where no blood flow gets to that bottom part of the tissue and that piece can like die and like break away. You get to a point where you don't really feel that part of the ear so much. So that is a big concern. Please look out for that and don't let your lobes get too thin because you've overstretched or stretched too quickly. Just a piece of advice. Hi. The question says, do you ever get a scab or a rash on the stretch thing? And does it mean it's growing out? Please help, please. I'm guessing stretched thing is your earlobe. That question doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> like, do you get like a scab or a rash on the, like on the stretcher? Or do you mean like on my ends that I have? Because they were scabbed over for a, a little while at any, like, like any scab would be, and then they just healed up. They're completely healed mm -hmm. now. They're glued together. It's, it's fake. I'll show you. Yeah, they're completely healed over, like they're fine. And I just eyelash glue them together because it's a, obviously a good glue to use because it's like sensitive and it. Maybe the person is sort of asking, do those ends like scab up every now and then? But like once it's healed, it would have no reason to scab up again. It's like closed over. The body has completely like closed the area. It would be like when you have a cut and it becomes a scar. That's kind of what has been created over that area of the little nub bit. Does that easily, so you should it where hip hoops this big. But um, yeah, some people said to use nail glue. That would rip my skin. I'm not going to be doing that. Ooh, because it's good for sensitive to like eyes and stuff. So eyelash glue is mm. the best. And it does hold as long as you don't do what I just did. <laughs> but yeah, that's not what you meant. Let me know. <laughs> nail glue? I can't believe people were saying that to you. That's insane. That's disgusting. And yeah, like, you know when you get nail glue just like on your fingers and it feels vile and it's all like rough and ugh, it's just the worst feeling to just even be sitting on there imagine gluing your fucking ear together no i hate that so my last video i made the like main thing people were asking was what happened to my ear we have another one so um what happened was after years of like miscare and stretching there was a very thin spot here that uh i tried to stretch up again and i just i didn't wait long enough so it got kind of fucked up um, and then at that point, I made a really dumb decision of not moisturizing it and being in 100 degree heat for three days straight, giving myself like heat exhaustion, whole bunch of bad dehydration shit, um, led to my whole skin and everything being not very elastic and dry. 
and mm. this part right here literally split down the middle, and then half of it died and fell off. And then the remaining little floss piece. It happens, it happens. I. <laughs> it's so wild that this was the next one to come up. Like, I didn't even do this on purpose, I promise, but like, yes, exactly, 100%. This is a great example of what happened but honestly, I am so proud of these people for sort of just like saying what they did wrong. They're not trying to hide it and be like, oh my God, I just don't know how it happened. I did everything right. They're like straight up going, look, I know I did this and this is where I fucked up and this is what happened. So like, thank you. It's refreshing to see this. You don't see it often at all. It's always someone trying to like backtrack and be like, I did this right. I'm allowed to do this. This is what I like to see. It's real. I love it. Thank you. Kind of did an umbilical cord kind of thing where it just died and disconnected <laughs> and split. Um, it actually didn't split. Let me not lie. It got like gross and dry and literally like an umbilical cord. Mm. And when I knew it was like dead, I could pinch it and like there was no feeling. I just kind of took a pair of scissors and clipped it and let the little nubbies fall off on their own. Um, it's healed now. This is what they look like. Nothing really like too gross. It's you can so see like wild. where it pinched off and where it split. Honestly, on this one, you can see right where the skin split because it started up at that side mm. where it's still healthier. Um, and yeah, I can get it fixed, but that is surgery mm -hmm. right there. Um, surgery that I'm sure my insurance won't cover mm. because it's technically like cosmetic plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. There's no ailment from it it's not painful it was a little painful healing because like before i cut it the skin was like pulling on the end still and it was just uncomfortable but for the most part it really only hurt mentally um it's already like so thin and low circulation that i don't feel much in them to begin with mm. so there wasn't really much physical pain uh see this is exactly why the previous person who we just watched wouldn't have even felt that it like broke away because there would have been such low blood flow, low circulation in that area that it was just like, you wouldn't have really felt it. If you were touching it like inside out of the cold weather, it still would have been a similar thing where it was like, it really wasn't doing great as is. So like something else like this could have happened in this person's case where it's like they were in hot weather, they weren't tending to it, they weren't looking after it, it wasn't like putting jojoba oil or anything on it, so um, it makes sense. Like it would have got crusty and dusty and just crisped, shriveled up and died. When you look at it like this, it's not that shocking to see something like this happen because like if we had another part of our body that was just like hanging off, like I don't know, a piece of flappy skin or something, I know this is a different thing because it could just be the skin and not the tissue, but it would crisp up and fall away as well. Like it's, it makes complete sense. It's just very interesting how it happens to stretch lobes. That's all. I, I think it's so interesting. I don't love it for them. and I don't love hearing about it for them, but I kind of do. Do you know what I mean? And you're just going to leave it and rock with it for now until I can afford to get it fixed. Um, this one's still like uber healthy though. So we're going to keep stretching that baby. What's the worst that can happen, I guess? It's gonna break and they're gonna match. <laughs> Fuck it. We're sending her, bud. Hilarious. I actually am so about this person's outlook on it. They just don't really seem to care. So like, if they don't care, they can't really be judged or criticized for it. So like, keep up the good work, I suppose. Just don't um, do what they did, okay? That's all. So recently I've been getting a lot of comments. Uh, you guys are very concerned that my ears are gonna snap. I'm not sure if you're saying that because you're genuinely concerned or you're just trying to kind of be, be an asshole. I definitely have reacted to this girl before in, I don't even know what the video was. It was probably just me going, damn, those be some big lobes. Those are some fucking big lobes. But looking at the way, these stretch, these move as seen in like the previous video with the person who like twisted their tunnel up in their lobe. You can look and you can see how healthy these lobes are, how thick they are, how much like stretch and elasticity they have. Like these are so fine and 
People would just be saying it because they have no idea about anything and they don't understand how it works. These do not look thin at all. Look, look at the way she's moving them. Just like, just really, just really look and you'll see like, this is healthy. But it doesn't work that way. They're super healthy. I've been stretching them for 15 years. They're not gonna They're so just thick. snap. There's so much there. The people whose ears snap take really bad care of them. Mm. And while I appreciate your concern, I've been doing this for a really long time. And I know what I'm doing. It's been over half my life that I've been doing this. And you never really know because people change their minds all the time. But I do feel as though my point of regret is way behind me. If that were to happen, <laughs> I think it would have happened by now. This makes me happy and gives me confidence and I'm not hurting anyone. And to those of you that are nice to me all the time, thank you. How cute, I love it. Imagine if I was actually really horrible in the last video and I just didn't realize. I don't know what I would have said that was horrible though, but that would be <laughs> kind of shit. She's been stretching her lobes for longer than most people have been a piercer. She's been stretching her lobes for longer than most people have had TikTok. So like, just shut the fuck up, honestly. Definitely a lot longer many, many times longer than people have had TikTok. Probably longer than the internet has been around. Okay, maybe not that long, but pretty long. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like down below and subscribe if you're new here and I'll be back very soon.